How's it going? Yesterday I did not vlog. I went to bed last night with a little bit of a, like a twinge in my back on my shoulder blade. And then that night was probably one of the worst nights I've had in a long time. I, I was gonna say the worst nights I've had ever, but I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit overboard with that. Mm -hmm. Because I, on Everest, some of those nights were like the worst nights ever. It, like altitude pain. Anyways, it was pretty bad. So much so that my right arm became numb because a pinched nerve in my back was going all the way down. I literally could not lay down. I couldn't sit up. I couldn't stand. It was just miserable all around. Uh, so yesterday I spent most of the time trying to find a good position to kind of get some rest. It's kind of subsided a little bit. I still have a lot of pain. Last night was, was a four on a 10 scale. The night before was like a 10 on a 10 scale. I'm still gonna take it easy today. Annie is out getting a uh, stroller so that we can go for a little walk around the neighborhood. I can push a stroller okay. The worst thing about this pinched nerve is that it puts pressure on my my diaphragm or my lungs and I can't get a full breath. The night before I was, I was just little gasps. You think that's funny? Little ball. It's windy out there kiddo. You ready for this? That was the shortest walk in history. Well, did you enjoy that, Eva? Was that fun? So fast forward, I'm at the office. I came here to feed the fish. Another update on the fish tank. Because the school said that they don't want it, which is really, really disappointing because that would have been awesome. And knowing that Annie bought a big house. We need to find a way to keep the tank because the office isn't gonna last much longer, but we don't wanna leave the tank in the office. And because I'm not in the office very much anymore, the tank's kind of, really, is neglected. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest here. <laughs> I have not taken care of this tank. We lost Fung, who was my, the matriarch of this thing. And uh, that's really depressing, and I lost a clam. And it, before it really goes too bad, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the bigger pieces of coral, like the brain coral and things, and I'm gonna give them to my friend, uh, Leo. If you don't know Leo, we did a video together, I'll link to it here, it's 500 gallon fish tank. It's a really cool fish tank. But he has a lot of real estate in that fish tank, and so I will give him like the big uh, leather here and the, and the brain coral. I'm going to actually get rid of all the rock take a few strategic pieces to move to the small house tank and take all the fish move into the house tank. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this thing down, dry it out, clean it out, and just leave it here empty until we sublet the office, then take the stand and everything and give it to Leo so that he can kind of store it. And then when the house is ready, we'll start from scratch, or Annie will start from scratch because I'll be on the road. I might actually come back to help her set up the tank in the new house and then fly back to wherever I am and, and continue my tour around the world. But uh, well, I know a lot of you guys are wondering how that whole trip around the world and my life here is gonna work. I don't really know 100%, but I'm still gonna go and it will work itself out. If you know my video series on the tank, you can see that there are many fish here that should be here that aren't lost a lot and my corals are turning white. and. It's really an insult because I, I consider myself a pretty uh, knowledgeable aquarist and this tank is kind of, it's, it's not, it doesn't look good for me as a guy that uh, considers himself a reef keeper. But if we could get this in an area where Annie, Annie really knows how to take care of tanks, um, but if it could be nearby where I could give her a list of things to do and all she's got to do is do them and then every so often call somebody in to do a water change. 
then I think that this tank would be very manageable. The equipment set up in that tank is actually very manageable. It just needs somebody around to, you know, watch over it. The fish are fed, and I think I'm gonna head home. We're at sister's house now. Just finished dinner. Back still hurts. Eva's playing around with that mama. <laughs> She's doing yoga. Come here, honey. Come on. I'm at about 60 percent. But today is Primo's birthday. It is. Happy birthday, Primo. Rising Shanghai Primo. It's his birthday today. Oh, and speaking of Raising Shanghai Primo, he finished the video from the Shishi Wetlands. Remember when we went and met him and I made the I made the video for that day? Well, he takes a little bit longer to make his videos and he just finished it a couple of days ago. He does a video that's a little bit more musical and shorter and it's short and sweet and uh, Xiao Xiao was a goofball in it. So uh, yeah, watch it. Anyways, I was saying I'm at about 60% with my back. Makes me mobile. I uh, still can't quite play with the stinger dink because uh, I'm a little nervous. If I lay down in bed, I might not get it back up again. So Annie's had to take care of her 100%. Normally she only takes care of her 99% and I'm 1%, <laughs> but now she's 100%. 100% plus another 20% from you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So I, I'm like her second child now. She's got to tend to my, my weak back. A couple of upcoming things. My Aunt Kathy is coming in the next month to visit. We'll probably go to Beijing to see her. Go to the Great Wall and go to Forbidden City and a bunch of cool places in Beijing and then bring them back to Ningbo. My Aunt Kathy and Uncle Gary are awesome. Oh, and I almost forgot. The trike. Aerial Riders has been looking into a solution for me to electrify that trike and make it uh, like an e-trike. But uh, they said with my 20 inch tire in the back, somehow the spokes won't be able to take the torque from a motor. And they're saying that it might not be possible. Unfortunately, it looks like I might be pedaling it yet again, doing it the HPV way. HPV means human powered vehicle, which wouldn't be such a bad thing. I just worry about my knees, that's all. Anyways, like, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you later. <laughs>